All right, for all of you Star Wars fans out there, we're going to be introducing the Razor Crest All Metal Kit. Now, these kits are put out by the nice folks at the Metal Earth Company, and if you've never put together one of these Metal Earth kits, they're a kick. I love doing them. And here's how they're packaged. These are flat sheets of metal that you make into 3D objects. They come in these flat cardboard packs, and they got all different kinds. Well, here's the front of the package, and this is what hopefully mine's going to look like by the time it's done. Now, you do have to look carefully because there are different things that are available. And this one features either landing gear up or landing gear down, and you have to plan ahead for it. And here's the back of the packaging. It usually gives you a number of tidbits about the model and the history and different things that come together. Now, there you go. You're looking at those flat sheets of metal, and you notice they consider it's a fairly hard kit. This is not a child's kit by any means. This is an adult kit. And you have the two options here. You have the landing gear up, as in flight, or landing gear down, like on the ground. And I didn't realize that it's different. Now, here's how you put these kits together. It's no glue, no solder. You have these taps and holes, and you put the tab in and either push it over or put the tab in and give it a twist. Now, there are lots and lots of parts that come with this kit. Some of the kits are much more simple. This is one of the more difficult ones. Of course, you've got to keep track of which ones you used and where they came from. Now, there are lots and lots of directions that come, pages and pages, and you might notice that there's no words. These are my kind of directions. They're just pictures, so you've got to look carefully because there are lefts and rights. You will need a bunch of different tools, all kinds of bendy, clippy, pushy, pulley things, because this is something that you have to take your time with. And I call these bendy tools. Notice that none of them cost me anything. These are so you can accommodate that flat metal and make it into 3D. Of course, never, ever, ever break any parts off. You want to make sure to nip them with your sharp nippers. Otherwise, you'll either damage or destroy the parts. And of course, all the bendy tools are for, well, duh, bending stuff. And different things require different sizes and shapes and stuff like that. And here you got the finished model. You'll notice that I put the landing gear down. And it was kind of a mistake on my part. Okay, fine. I'll admit it. I make a mistake on every kit I ever put together. If you're going to make it landing gear down like I did, you have to put it together differently than if you put it together with landing gear up. And I didn't realize it until I had completed the model and went, oh, no, now i got to figure out how to put on all the landing gear. But as you can see, I got it together. Now, looking at this kit, look at the detail that these Metal Earth Company kits have built into these. I mean, it's just amazing. Keep in mind that these were the flat sheets of metal when I started. Personally, I'm going to be displaying my Razor Crest as in a landing position. It just looks better sitting on the ground. It's got all that additional detail rather than the flying model. But anyway, that's entirely your choice. And if you have some time in your hands and like Star Wars and love putting together models like I do, you want to look into these Metal Earth kits because they really are a kick in the pants. I enjoy them. Go have a look. I'm sure that at least one or two or a half dozen you'll find of interest. See you guys. Bye-bye.